I hope you guys enjoy this video that I decided to do for you. Um, I will explain it as I go along, but I did end up deciding to do kind of a Captain America inspired look. Um, it's not super red or anything like that. But I wanted to kind of keep it more um, not so intense. I was trying to look up pictures and get inspired and all of that um, for this look. And a lot of them were just like really fire engine red and super, super red and blue. And like, you know, like looked almost like a firework. And I didn't want to do anything like that. Um, so I wasn't going to do anything actually at first. Um, for like the movie because we are going tonight and that's kind of what I wanted to do um, and I ended up actually opening my drawer and I saw um, Pegasus Blue um, by Makeup Geek and I was like I really want to use that you know and it goes with the blue that I wanted to do anyway so I ended up doing this look so it is kind of Captain America um, you know kind of inspired by that kind of not kind of just because I wanted to use the blue color um, but yeah, we're just gonna go with that. I kind of just came up with it whenever I opened my drawer and I wanted to use the blue, so that's what we went with. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. So, <laughs> we're gonna be using this blue shadow. It is very pretty. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm definitely probably gonna be using this shadow on the lid. Um, maybe just in the center. And maybe some type of cut crease. Um, but we'll just see as we go. So, I did apply first my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, I'm gonna be applying this, I believe, later. We'll see, um, probably directly underneath that on the lid too if I need to but we'll see if I need to but first we're gonna start out with this shade here and we're gonna be using that all over the lid just to help set that primer that way we don't have any issues with the shadows not wanting to um, blend evenly and any issues like that so we're gonna just take a blending brush and apply the shadow all over both of our lids then we're gonna go in with a more kind of taupe brown shade this one here and we're going to apply this shade um, in our crease area we're kind of going to use this as a transition shade in that crease and upper crease area and we're going to bring this down and make it into a V shape here on the outer corner of our eye now, I do have a full face um, makeup on. I did get ready before work this morning, so you could use a piece of tape here to make this line, but we're just gonna do it with our brush freehand. And we're gonna do the same on the other eye. Then we're gonna go in with a blending brush and blend this out. I'm gonna make sure that this eyeshadow, um, all of these steps are very well blended. Just because we are using such an intense eyeshadow, I want to make sure everything is very blended together. Then we're going to go in with this eyeshadow right here. And it is also by Makeup Geek, and it is Coco Bear. And I'm not really going in with a very intense red. This one to me is very cocoa, uh, has a very red undertone to it. So this is actually the red shadow that I'm going to be using. We're going to be using this to create our cut crease. Um, but I just kind of want to keep it more... Um, Natural. I don't want to do like, you know, um, Captain America is obviously very like red, white, and blue, very USA, but I don't want to do that. I want to go for a more, you know, just kind of more natural um, look, I guess, of that. Just to keep it more um, glamorous, more natural, but still have that very pop of blue. So I guess it's more of an inspired look, I guess you could say. Then we're just going to be taking a City Color CCE01 brush, and this is just a um, kind of pointed, angled um, crease brush. I like to use it for my crease, and we're going to be taking that Coco Bear shade and adding this directly into our crease. And you can go just a little bit above your crease if you want, depending on how your eyes fall. I'm going to go a little bit above just because whenever I, my eyes close like this, my crease kind of goes back into it so you can't see my natural crease line. And we're going to do the same on the other side. And then we're just going to blend these together into that upper crease. 
want to be able to see the difference, but I don't want any harsh lines between the two different shades. Okay, then we're going to go back to that first shade that we used to set our primer with, and we're going to use that underneath our brows. I'm also going to bring it down in here just because that area got a little dark. Okay, then I'm going to go in with a more precise pencil brush, and again, this one is another City Color brush, and this is the CCE05, and I'm going to take that Cocoa Bear again and just bring those, that in on the outer corners of the eye, following that the shape we made in the beginning with our first shadow. Then we're going to go in with our Too Faced Shadow Insurance and we're going to apply that directly onto our lid where we're going to be applying that blue eyeshadow. And here's that color again. And again this is Pegasus by Makeup Geek. This is such a beautiful color and I'm just going to be taking a flat lid brush and this is another City Color brush. And this is the CE or the CCE07. And I'm going to be taking this and packing it onto the lid. Okay, and you can then continue to pack it on to your liking however much you want to apply and then I'm just going to go in with a blending brush and blend it in well with that crease color that way there's no harsh lines in between the two then I'm going to go in with my liner and I'm going to be using the Doshe Cosmetics um, Ultra Precision Liner and I'm going to be using this on my top and bottom lashes today <laughs> to take the Cocoa Bear shadow that we used on our top lashes and bring that down onto the bottom lash line. We're also going to take an eyeliner brush and set our bottom eyeliner with some black eyeshadow to help that last in our waterline and not fade throughout the day. Now you could do this on the top lashes as well if you felt the need but my eyeliner on the top doesn't seem to fade like my bottom lash line does so I am not going to. But if you have a problem with that, feel free to. I'm just going to go in and do a little bit more blending. Then we're going to finish it off with curling our lashes and some mascara. We're going to apply mascara on the bottom lashes. Hey guys, so today we're going to be using two products for our lips. Um, one of them is actually a moisturizer that I've been using. I like it a lot. Um, but it is the Perlis. And I know I just butchered that, but it's okay. Um, it is the Daily Lip Moisturizer with Mango and Shea Butter. Um, you can use this under your lipsticks and lip gloss. So I really like this little product. Um, I bought it in my last boxy charm, but it works really well. I also like applying it just by itself. So I went ahead and applied that, um, and I've been letting it sit for a little bit. And it's just really, really moisturizing. Um, and then I'm gonna be using my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Lip. Um, I love these. I love all of the ColourPop lip products, um, but this one is in the shade Magic Wand. So we're going to be applying this today. But I really like this color and I like a lot of their lip products. Um, they're all super great. They last really well. I like the way their satin lips feel. They're not drying. Honestly, neither are their matte products. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this look. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.